Hi guys and welcome back to the Lazy Girls Kitchen. If you are new, I'm Maggie and welcome. Today we are going to be making egg patties. Um, I make these quite often. This is a delicious like a lunch or even for breakfast. Um, since egg is a breakfast food, we actually eat it all day long, but I know here in America it's more towards breakfast. So for this, what we're going to do is you're going to grate your eggs and you want to do it on like the, the thicker part of the grater and you're going to need about five to six eggs now i'm making a double batch so i'm going to have maybe 10 or 11 eggs because there's a lot of us but for the actual recipe you're just going to need um, five large or six smaller eggs and now what we're going to do is we are going to add some garlic and i'm again going to just use my grater to do it i don't have my microplane here so i'm just going to use that my skin off or you can go ahead and dice it but do it finely because nobody wants to bite into a chunk of garlic at least not in this household okay i'm gonna go ahead and give this a judge and right into the bowl All right, someone's going to get a little piece of garlic because it fell and I can't find it. So, but that's okay. So we have our nice mixture. I'm just going to give this a rough toss. And now we're going to try to combine it and season it the best we can. So what I have here are raw eggs, some mayo. And um, for seasoning, I have some oregano, salt and pepper, and then I'm going to add in some fresh parsley towards the end to kind of tie it together. You can add it now, whatever works for you. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my mayo. And if you don't want to use mayo, you can use milk. Um, you can use heavy cream. I just, I like the mayo taste and the consistency of it. So it works best for me. I'm going to add in two eggs, possibly three, depending on the size. And I'll let you know once I start making my little patties, whether they're sticking together. If they're not, then you're obviously gonna wanna add one more egg or so. Size matters in this. I'm gonna add in about a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. And then we're gonna season it generously with some salt. Eggs love salt. Um, and pepper and the salt and pepper just do the taste so if you like it a little bit more spicy add more spice all right I'm gonna go ahead and give this a rough toss okay so everything is pretty much incorporated you can see that I have a nice paste here that's really sticking together so it'll be easy for you to make your patties right so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna chop up some of my parsley. I do like that freshness. I'm going to chop that up and add it to my eggs. <clears throat> and I also realized I forgot to add the oregano. So we're going to do that now too. So some fresh greens. I just love the colors of this. It looks so beautiful. You can add a little bit of cheese if you want a little bit of a pull. But I'm going to leave the cheese out today. So oregano in. We're going to give it one more mix just to get everything incorporated. Oh, the parsley smells so good, you guys. It's fresh from our garden. So it's just so fragrant and gorgeous. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the mixture. And I'm just going to kind of roll it like so. Right? And then just kind of give it a little bit of a squish to make like a little patty like that. Then we're going to put it in additional breadcrumbs. And it is a little bit flimsy. It's not going to fall apart, but because it's eggs, so it's not something hard that will stay together super well, but it does. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. Make our patties. And again, just roll it. And then flatten it out slightly. <coughs> Excuse 
excuse me. And then we're gonna dip it in our breadcrumbs. And then place them on our little board until we're ready to fry. The oil is heating up right now. I have some vegetable oil heating up in a pan behind me. And once I'm done making these, I'm gonna go ahead and start frying those up. All right, so what I have here is my hot pan. We have some vegetable oil in there and I have my mama helping me out because I can't film myself putting them in. So see, they're going right into the pan. And we have it on about medium heat. And you're going to fry them for about three to four minutes on each side. I'm going to show you what they look like when we flip them over. But look at this. All right, we're going to flip them now. Look at this. And it's a little bit frothy because we put mayo in the batter, like in the mixture. So it frosts up a little bit, but there's nothing wrong with it. Trust me. Look at this. So we're going to fry it on this side for another three to four minutes, and then I'm going to plate and enjoy. All right, so they are all done. I just want to show you how gorgeous they look. My mom is just finishing up the rest so that I can eat because my mouth is watering. It smells so good. just want to show you the inside. Look at that. It's almost like potato salad, or not potato salad, egg salad, but in a patty, if that makes any sense. It's crispy on the outside. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> so good. So light. It's like you're biting into a little marshmallowy cloud. Perfectly seasoned. Has a little bit of freshness from the parsley. But is absolutely divine. So as always, make sure you head over to the lazygirlskitchen.com for the full recipe. It's going to be all written out for you and give these a try because they're absolutely divine. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.